Okay, I wanted to uh, demonstrate the rounding rule for arithmetic questions and desire to learn. So I have set up an arithmetic question. It really doesn't matter what you put in the question text. Um, what we want to see is what happens when we ask for uh, an answer. So in this case, my formula is just a constant. So what happens if I want it to be uh, precision of zero, which means it's going to round it to the nearest integer. Now in this case, uh, 3.5 conventional rounding says, you know, uh, since you have a 5, you're going to round it up to 4. And we'll see that uh, in this case, D2L handles the rounding correctly, and we do get 4 as an answer. But the rounding rule that's used is called round to even. Since this digit's odd, um, we're going to round up to the next even number. But if this digit was even, so I said 2.5, it's going to round to the even number. So it now is going to, uh, traditionally it should round to 3. Now what we're going to see is that D2L is going to round that to 2. So now we see the answer being shown as 2 from D2L. So if you're using arithmetic questions for students, and they get an answer like 132.5, um, but you asked it to be uh, rounded to the nearest integer. Uh, 132.5, when you look at the answer key from D2L and it grades it, it's going to show that the answer is 132, when students are typically going to round that to 133. Things that you can do to try to uh, help your students is to add a little bit of a tolerance. Um, so if you're rounding to the nearest integer, uh, the tolerance you can add here is just a plus or minus one unit. So whether or not they put 133 or 132, uh, both answers will be accepted. And so when you go to test, you can see the, the tolerance being added to the answer saying that anything from 131 to 133 uh, will be considered correct. Another way you can deal with the tolerance is by doing a fixed percentage. Um, but if you're only concerned about the rounding rule as a reason to allow for a range of answers, uh, it would best be just use uh, the units itself. So just to show one more time, if it is even, it's going to round it down, but if that was 133.5, and I go to test, the answer key is now going to show 134, so it rounds it to the appropriate uh, place if it's an odd digit. But whenever it's an even digit there, this is where D2L uses the round to even rule and will round it to the, the even digit instead. Hopefully that's clear, and if you are making arithmetic questions for your students, um, you'll, you'll either want to always use this tolerance or train the students on what round to even is. Or we ask D2L to give us the option to uh, pick the rounding rule for the question.